In this video, I'll be talking about the nuances for playing Bondaiko. There are three main things that I want to talk about, and the first is playing with fluid motion. If you watch the dancers at a Bonodori, you'll notice that they're using relaxed, fluid motions. So for example, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You'll notice that there aren't any sudden stops and starts in the dance, and you want your drumming to reflect this. One of the keys is to make sure that the sticks are always preparing for the next motion. Okay, let's take pattern one, for example. One, two, three, four. Do, n, do, n, don, ka, 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 ka. Okay, one, two, three, four. Do, n, do, n, don, ka, 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 ka. Okay, let's try all of the patterns. One, two, three, four. Do, n, do, n, don, ka, ka, ka. Ka, do, do, n, ga, don, ka, ka, ka. Ka, su, don, su, don, don, ka, ka, ka. Ka don do don 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 ka 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 ka. I'm always trying to bring the stick into the next position without stopping. One, two, three, four. When I play bondaiko, I try to think long round notes. Don, 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 ka, 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 ka. When I think shorter notes, the motions tend to become less fluid. Don, 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 ka, 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 ka. The second thing I want to talk about is emphasizing the first note of otsuri. Once again, otsuri is don, ka, ka, ka. Ka. The first note, the one that's played on the drum head, is emphasized, and this also has to do with the dance. You'll notice a lot of the dance moves are mirrored. That means you do something with the right side, and you do the same thing with the left side. You do something with the right side, you do the same thing with the left side. You'll notice that the right side starts on the first beat of the whole rhythm, and the left side usually, but not always, starts on the first beat of otsuri. So for example, don 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 ka 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 do do n ga don ka 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 su don su don don ka 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 don su do don 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 ka 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 ka. You'll sync with the dance much better if you emphasize the first note of otsuri. One, two, three, four. I exaggerated for the sake of demonstration, uh, but make sure that you're not overdoing this. Uh, make sure that you're subtly outlining the motions of the dance. The third thing I want to talk to you about is the rim. When you're first starting out, make sure you can get an even sound from the right and left hands. That means you want to be playing with the same part of the stick, so roughly two fingers from the, from the edge, and you want to be playing on the same part of the rim. Down the road, you're encouraged to get creative with how you play the rim, but from a fundamentals perspective, first make sure your rim sound is controlled. Try playing otsuri and make sure the right and left hands sound even. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
Let's try playing all of the patterns again. You're watching out for three things. The first thing, fluid motion. The second thing, emphasis on the first note of otsuri. And the third thing, uh, even sounds on the rim from the right and left hands. One, two, three, four. Okay, so the three things to watch out for are fluid motions, emphasis on the first note of otsuri, and even sounds from the right and left hands, particularly on the rim. Always a good idea to watch yourself in the mirror or record yourself on video. Good luck, thanks for watching.